the Mongolian authorities asked the EU to train uh, some interpreters with Mongolian and English who should then work at the uh, ASEM summit in Ulaanbaatar in July 2016 we organized an aptitude test in Mongolia. We tested more than 20 candidates and five were approved to come to the course here in Brussels. And in just five months, we've got to get them up to the stage where they'll be able to interpret in simultaneous in an international conference where there'll be heads of state and government uh, present. All the trainees have a university degree and uh, then during the test we see whether they've got the right analytical and communication skills. Um, I studied business administration in New York. I have an interest to work as a translator and interpreter, so this was really a great opportunity for me. I applied for this course and luckily enough I was selected, so I'm just happy to be here. To be part of this um, project uh, seemed really exciting. Just knowing a language doesn't mean you can be a great interpreter. There is proper techniques and tools that will that help you to become a good interpreters. Just the fact that we're going to be doing simultaneous interpretation already makes me nervous. So hopefully with the training we will be ready. So we only have five months to take them through memory exercises, consecutive and on to simultaneous. And to do that, we've got a small team of dedicated trainers who are themselves professional interpreters and have a lot of experience in teaching interpretation. Memory exercises are um, very useful as a foundation to introduce the foundation techniques for learning consecutive interpretation. We do a lot of exercises that help to build up the stamina, the brain power, and lengthen the memory, lengthen and deepen the capacity of our memory to retain the information we need. Memory exercises are quite challenging. So uh, the trainer uh, gives you a speech or tells you a story and um, you have to memorize everything or you try to memorize uh, the key points, uh, the structure, and then you have to uh, retell the story. November. Four months left. At some stage, we introduce note taking to help with the things that are more difficult to retain, like figures, numbers, names, dates. Because you're going to hear a speech which lasts a few minutes, and you need to be able to render that speech in the target language immediately afterwards. <laughs> Note-taking does not replace memory, it just assists memory. Sadly, I have to admit that I don't actually speak Mongolian, unfortunately. That's why we have uh, a visiting scholar who plays a very useful role in giving us feedback about how faithful they are to the original content when they're interpreting from Mongolian into English, as well as the quality of their interpreting into Mongolian. My main role uh, during this interpretation training course is to assist the trainees analyzing the interpretation processes from English to Mongolian. Nidgar Sar, Orun Sar Ultle, January, three months left. Interpreting is not about words. It's not about transposing words from one language into the other. It's basically about conveying meaning, content, logic. And if you don't get the, the logic of the speech, if you don't get the, the, the content clear in your own mind, it's impossible to interpret it properly in consecutive. Maybe we can have some kind of better agreement with these two nations. You're working intelligently. That was obvious. You sounded more confident. So keep working on it, yeah? Simultaneous uh, builds on consecutive. The difference with consecutive is that you now have to do it in real time. It requires you to understand straight away what is being said and to find an intelligible, clear way of saying it in another language. We only have five months, but then we have so much to cover. It just gets, once it gets easier, we have to learn another new thing. So it's been very challenging. Analyzing the message, and that's the 
essence of it. What you're doing is you're analyzing the message and you're conveying the message. That's the most difficult part. <laughs> This group of five Mongolian trainees are great, a great bunch to work with. They're full of beams, they're very enthusiastic, they're still on a steep learning curve, which is a good place for them to be. And I have a very good feeling about this course. They're well on track and I think they'll be up and running for the ASEM Summit in July. If it's too dense, it's still very, very challenging. Not in a very pleasant way. <laughs> well, simultaneous is not an easy task, um, but you, you gotta give what you have. You have to really try. Sometimes it can be stressful, sometimes it's really tough, but uh, you know, uh, you just gotta deliver. <laughs> the first thing you do, just before starting interpreting, eh, is to close your eyes for a moment if you can and breathe deeply, slowly in and out a couple of times, and that will help to calm your nerves. March, one month left. When we started, uh, I was, I couldn't really see how we will do it, but now it's manageable. Our confidence level is much higher. I actually like doing simultaneous interpretation. We have three weeks left, a lot of work ahead of us, but you know, I am sure that you will be fine. Because I know that you're very serious and you're working well. So keep at it, okay? So five months, the five months are, are over. I think the course was a great success. Um, they worked very hard uh, and made a huge amount of progress in that short period of time. Certainly as a trainer, it's been really rewarding to see uh, how much hard work and effort they put in. Uh, and I have to say, I'm, I'm gonna miss them.